Hey guys, we are doing another set of these little glasses. They're dessert glasses. And I just showed you the alcohol. I rubbed them all down with some alcohol and a paper towel first. So this batch has already been painted on. So the alcohol also just makes sure that there's like no greasy fingerprints on there to keep the paint from adhering. And I'm using up some scrap paints that I have. Some of these I just have little bits left. Some have been sitting around a while. So it's just time to use them up, clean out some bottles, and uh, make some new paints. And I'm just going to put each of these on a popsicle stick on, in these little foam floral blocks. And then I also use something called tacky to keep them in place. And that will be linked in the comments. Or I'm sorry, in the description. So some of these, uh, my popsicle stick is going down too far. So it, it makes it so that... Um, Unfortunately, the cup sticks in the paint, and you can go back and watch some of my others um, to see what I've done uh, with some of the other paintings. There's a series of these. So I've just got these little shot cups of that I'm going to use for the paint. I'm going to just layer all the different paints. So this is a turquoise blue. Don't necessarily put them in any sort of order. I do keep in mind that whatever is in first comes out last. So that was a turquoise, which is just a little different than the turquoise blue. This is light blue. This is a royal blue that I made up my own. And then I think I'll put in some red. However, I don't have a lot of the red left, so I don't know how much I'll actually get, get used in these. And, you know, sometimes I layer them down the side, sometimes I just uh, dirty pour, just kind of throw it all in there. With this type of paintings, it doesn't really seem to matter. Now I'm just going to pour it along the edge. And with this one, I decided to do these circles all the way around. Sometimes I just do straight lines. I don't know. I just decided to change things up a little bit. 
That way they all look a little bit different. Some of them didn't quite get completely covered, so I'm going to try and uh, scrape out some of these paints here and um, just kind of throw on some extras. Like I said, I'm not going for anything in particular. So however these turn out is how they turn out. And it's kind of fun to do these for that reason. Um, I'm, I'm never truly disappointed in them. So you can see I have paint skins um, on the paper that I'm, the white butcher paper. So I will save those and let them dry and then I will go ahead and use them either in magnets or in my bag holders, the bag hooks, or lately I've been making flowers with them which turn out really cool. So they don't ever get wasted. And sometimes if there's a lot of uh, you know, loose paint, I'll actually scrape that into um, another container to make another color. And that way, and I strain it through a, a sieve first. But you get some you know, cool colors that you can then use either as a new color itself or as a flow extender. Yeah, we're definitely at the bottom of these, some of these containers. <laughs> I ended up having to switch to some, uh, I think it's called purple red, instead of the primary red that I had. I'm just, I'm just trying to pour where there's missing paint, kind of fill in those areas.
So since there's a lot of paint on these blocks and I don't want my cuts to get stuck in it, I'm going to try and tilt some of this off. how the bottoms of these particular cups look. I think they're really cool. You can see I have some of the cups stacked on top of each other and that is so that anything that's in the bottom of one cup will kind of run down into the other and then I can dump out all that paint onto my uh, butcher paper. I call it butcher paper, some people call it freezer paper, it's the same thing. I'm just trying to prop these up a little bit so they're not down into the paint. It's time for me to replace these foam blocks, I think, <laughs> or at least switch it to another side. Let's go get a view of the other sides of my cups. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Daisy Lou says thank you as well. So the little paint, the little cups are dry now. So I wanted to show you what they look like. They turned out really cute, I think. And I think this will be a good batch to try resin on. I love the colors, the pink, the blue. Um, so when I took some of them off the styrofoam blocks, some of the edges got messed up. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but um, so I'll have to fall that down maybe use some of my paint markers in there to fill that in and then um i don't know if you can see the inside i can't really see it on the inside of this one but this particular one had um i think had some light blue uh, transparent paint on it so the inside you can see the old paint from the inside, which is kind of cool because it gives it a totally different look. Uh, let me see if there's one that you can see better. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you can kind of see that one a little bit better. So that looks kind of cool, right? So it's almost like two different looks there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button and keep coming back. Bye guys. See you next time.